Hey kids, your TV pal comic book man here to remind you that the January alternate reality hero of the month is none other than... The Incredible Hulk. That's right. All my Incredible Hulk trade paperbacks are 25% off all month long. Not the junky ones, not the overstock, not stuff I can't get rid of, but every single Incredible Hulk trade paperback in the house is 25% off all January long. It doesn't matter whether he's green, gray, red, purple, orange, hulked up, uh, scarred up, she hulked up, screwed up. They're all 25% off all month long here at Alternate Reality. It's time for Shop Talk with the Three Stooges, only there's four. Perfect. Hey kids, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome to my video outhouse. It's time once again for Shop Talk, and this is our third and last installment on women in comics and women's comics and how to get more women back into, or into in the first place, comic book shops in order to buy comics. And once again, as always, I am joined by the all-male outhouse gang. Hi, we're all guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> And which is the reason why we're doing this, because they're all guys, we don't get, Alternate Reality does, and I'm sure many other stores too, don't get nearly enough female customers in the door. Women make up half of the people on this planet, they all have money, and most of them wouldn't buy a comic if you held a gun to their head, unless they got a little kid. The joke I always tell, oh, joke I always say is, there's only two types of women I get in here. Moms who are dragged in the door by their little six-year-olds, basically at gunpoint, I want this! And girlfriends who are dragged in the door by their boyfriends, and all I see from them is... Why am I so, store? you know, what can the industry do to turn that around? What can the industry do to turn that around? And I was on, I put this on Facebook earlier this week, and this is what Jackie Estrada wrote on, on my Facebook page. There are plenty of good graphic novels and comics that would appeal to readers, but they need to have access to them, and most comic shops do not provide an, an environment that is inviting to female shoppers. The most successful stores at getting female customers are more pop culture stores like Meltdown in L.A. or Night Flight in Salt Lake City. I am not familiar with either one of those stores, but I'll take her word for that. What is it that they do? I have no idea what they do, but they're more inviting. They're more inviting. Okay. So, Great. guys, what can the comic book stores, not, not the industry, not the manufacturers, not the creators, but the stores themselves do to make women, make the stores more inviting I, for women? Uh, I have a buddy who lives out in California, works at Dr. Comics and Mr. Games. Uh, that's in Oakland, California, and okay. they have a very heavy female uh, customer base. Okay. They run their store very closely to what Alternate Reality does. They offer a great deal of stuff. You know, you could come into Alternate Reality and you don't have to be a fan of comics. You could be looking for classic posters. You could be looking for toys. You could be looking for sculptures, cards. Uh, you, got, you even sell, like, prose books and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, mostly genre stuff. But uh, I guess that's what they mean by pop culture type stuff yeah, is, is something cool. where they could come in drop their kids off in one section, <coughs> wander around the, the graphic novel section, you know, stuff like that I think is, is appealing. Uh, stores that are dingy and old and dirty and don't, uh, they're poorly lit, they don't offer a lot of space to move around, they're not inviting once they start to get crowded, you can't do much. You were in a local store recently, and you don't have to mention the name, but you can if you want, with your girlfriend. You were looking mm -hmm. for something specific, what happened? Tell that story. I, I walked into the store, it is uh, west of here, Yes. And I'm not I'm not going to say the name, but when I walked in, there were two guys eating pizza and drinking beer with the pizza laid out on the comic book box. I wanted back issues of Invincible, and I walked in and I said, do you have any back issues of Invincible? And the guy with food in his mouth said to me, what's that? And honestly, it, it was a real a-hole move because I'm standing there with a girl. You could tell the guy probably hadn't seen one uh, aside from his mother in several years. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, you would think somebody, at least to a customer, would be more inviting into their shop. And I, I don't see that very often at a lot of places. There are great comic book stores all over Chicago. Um, I, I just uh, There's also a lot of dumps. And that's, that's part of the problem. I don't think every comic book store has to put a Starbucks in it like a Borders does. But, I mean, they definitely have to keep a nice, well-lit area where there's room to move, room to get away from the trolls that smell bad and stuff <laughs> like that. You know, so I, I'm not trying to pick on anybody. Yeah. But honestly, that's what it comes down to. Women want to shop somewhere that's appealing to them and not necessarily going to creep them up. And that's right? not necessarily just women want to have that situation. The I situation agree. you were everyone in, everyone wants, wants it. To have that <laughs> exactly. I don't want to walk in and get told, uh, you know, what? What are you talking about? Or, you know, some guy with pizza in his face. So I think it's it's just about diversification. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do want to sell coffee. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's just about having a wide range of products, an atmosphere that people <clears throat> want to come into and come back to. 
something that's not going to chase them out the door the first time around. That's not just women, that's everybody. Oh. Very true. I mean, the, the, I mean, the traditional old-fashioned comic shop was owned by someone who really liked comics and said, I'm going to open up a comic shop. And that's great. But just because you own a comic shop doesn't mean you have to forget the very concept that this is your business. This is where you make money. This is where you buy pizza you can eat with beer and drink beer at. So if someone walks in your store, you don't look at everyone and go, yeah, what do you want? If I'm, a, if I'm walking in and you tell me what I want, I don't want anything. And I'll just walk out the door. You've got to basically know the general tenets of customer service. If someone asks you a question, come up with an idea. If you don't have an answer, try to look it up. Try to help the customer. Now, a lot of comic shops have customers who come in and they don't really have a clue of what they're really looking for. Or they're on a wild goose chase or they're basically checking you out because they're going to another store to get something and trying to see what you have. But you should have some basic tenets of customer service. If I walk into the Puma store, I know that the person behind the counter is going to go, Hi, how you doing? I want to walk in the door. And they may walk up to me and go, is there anything I can help you with? They're going to show the basic tenets of just common courtesy. So women women need customer service, like everyone does. Well, everyone needs customer service, but I think the generalized idea is when you walk into a store, it should it, you shouldn't feel like you're invading into someone's house because you walk in the store. This is your right. place of business. Treat but them like a regular person. To rein it back in, how do we get them in the door in the first place? Maybe that has to come from... Outside first. You have to yeah. something they want to buy. Well, right. get it, pushing them th into the front door has to come from the outside. But once they're in here, oh, then, okay, that's, then, that is, then that becomes then that becomes the store's right. responsibility. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's how you, we you have to have something to sell them, sir. You have to have something to sell. I, I mean, I will say they that need one. To be businessmen who run comic books. Stores. Yes, businessmen. It's businessmen who run comic books. There's the comic book store. fans who own comic book stores. One company that is doing something in 2010. Marvel's announced this. Uh, women's Initiative. Yeah, they got their Young Guns program where they tell you about the new young talent. This 2010's Young Guns Initiative involves female writers, female artists. That's it. They're going to be pushing the hell out of them all year. And I think Marvel's really good at that. I think Marvel tr pushes new creators really well. So hopefully, putting the emphasis behind female creators brings a new flavor to their books. You know what I mean? And, and, and we can all hope for the best from that. Okay. Uh, it's true that a lot of stores are run by trolls. Yes, they're run by trolls. Little trolls who look at you like you don't, you shouldn't be here. Hi, how you doing? Are you looking for anything? I say that every time somebody comes in the door, okay? And, and the answer usually is no, I just want to look around or, or I know what I'm looking for. But you put it out there. You put it out there. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, if a mom comes in with her kid... They're happy to hear that, okay, because they want to know where something is because they haven't a clue where anything is. So, I mean, yeah, being more open and being more a little bit more friendly wouldn't kill some of the shops, okay, that are out there, that are out there. And having a women's section, having a women's section, which I don't have here at Alternate Reality, but I talked about it on Facebook, and I'm going to try, like Dickens this month, to try to put one together here at the store. So I'm going to do my part this month. That's it. No, we've wrapped up this topic. Uh, like I said at the outset, we aren't going to to fix all the problems of women in comics women in, in three in three <laughs> segments, especially not four guys trying to fix the problem for women. I think we but, did pretty well. But you know what? I wanted to get the ball rolling. We were aware of the concept, and we knew we had to discuss the idea. And you and you know what? We're talking about it. At least give us that much. We're talking about it. Who else is talking about it? We care. We really do care. We really do care. So anyway, that's it. We're done. We're out of here. Give us some feedback, either on YouTube or on Facebook or wherever you see this at. Give us some some feedback. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And the Outhouse Gang. So long, boys and girls. Bye. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com.